hello everyone, I'm Staff Sergeant Sear and today we are going to learn how to apply makeup per the regulation. What I like to do before I apply any makeup to my face is actually prime it so it's nice and ready to soak in all that makeup. I always use a vitamin C serum. This helps make your skin brighter and helps with aging. Okay, the next item I put on my face is retinol because again, I am getting older so I like to do things to help prevent with fine lines and wrinkles. And a little dab will do you, you don't need a whole handful, all right? All right, you wanna fan that, make sure it's nice and dry, okay? So now it's time to apply your makeup. First thing you want to do, okay, you want to cover all those nice shiny areas. Really cover up those features that stand out. So you're going to start on your brow line and make nice lines here. You really want to cover up your areas. You don't want any parts of your skin to be showing when you're done applying your makeup. Now you're gonna go down your nose line and really get it in there, all right? All of your brow area, down your nose line, all right? Get it all up in your nose. And then you're gonna go over your cheekbones because that's a very um, outstanding feature, okay? And it does have a lot of shine to it, right? So you wanna cover it. You wanna blend in with the wood line. So just spread it out all the way to your ears, over the cheekbones, all right. So now you're going to start covering up your neck area also and go all the way down, okay. And you want a very distinct pattern, all right. So again, you can blend in with that wood line. All right, so that's that part and you kind of want to get your mustache area here good all right so now we're going to fill it in oh actually hold on i forgot the ears yeah i get those ears all right so you're gonna cover them up all right and keep in mind you have 10 minutes per the regulation to get this makeup on all right, so now I'm gonna fill in the rest of the parts with lighter shade green, all right? And you wanna really make sure you're blending it in, all right? You want all parts of your face covered. You don't want any skin color showing through. Um, another thing you wanna do once you're done with the front part of your face is you can have a battle buddy help you out and do the back of your neck. Okay, so in your eyes, get all in there, all right? You wanna close your eyes, get your eyelids, get everything, all right? Okay, and then make sure you get your forehead. For those guys with a shaved head and females, okay, you wanna make sure you get all of your forehead and some of your hairline. Cover my lips too. Boom. All right. So what I'm also gonna do is apply a lighter brown under my eyes just to help with blending in the background. I use a blotting technique just because it helps blend it in better. And now you're done. So, to finish off and be good for more than one hour, I use a setting spray. Just hold it out like that. Dry, and you are good. All right, so I'm going to apply a little black here just to show you 
Uh, you don't really want to use black when you're doing camo paint or your makeup because it's not a natural color. You would normally see black in man-made products like uh, paved road, okay? It's not natural. So you really don't want to use black throughout your face. I know it's a big part in movies where you see black and brown and green uh, in the camo paint in the movies, but it's not something you want to utilize when you're really out in the field doing a mission. You want to make sure when you are on a real mission, you want to do your hands, okay? You can do those, make sure you use the lines. Uh, to help you blend in, um, but also have your battle buddy help you out with the back of your neck because you don't want any of those parts sticking out, all right? And have a great day, and I hope this helped you out with applying your makeup.